Being back on Quandary Peak felt comparable to visiting an old friend and an old foe at the same time. If you scroll back through my video library, you'll find three other videos from this trail. The first video documented my successful summit of this 14er in September of 2020. Since then, I've made two attempts in winter, which ended up in failure due to excessively high winds, although making for some beautiful video content. Check them out. Having been denied on those two attempts that I've mentioned, I am determined that this time will be the time that I summit my first winter 14er. At this point of the hike, I was at about 12,500 feet of elevation. The main factor on this climb was my lack of high altitude fitness. This is my first hike into any significant altitude in six months, so I wasn't totally confident of how my body would do once I got to high altitude. The winter climb up Quandary Peak tends to be quite unrelenting. No gradual switchbacks, just straight up the east ridge, this ridge route decreases avalanche danger significantly. Here at 13,000 feet, the views get spectacular. To the south, you can see North Star Mountain and Mount Lincoln. And as we look over, to the northeast, you can see Grays and Tories, two prominent 14ers, 13er Bald Mountain by the town of Breckenridge, and to the southeast, Centennial 13er, Mount Silverheels. Here at around 13,200 feet, the trail temporarily flattens out. The final summit pitch looms ahead. 1,000 feet of elevation gain to climb in about a half a mile. This has been something else, people. This has been steep and just straight up there. I'm gonna bother showing you the view from here. We'll see it much better up there. But there it is. Let's do this.
Quandary Peak is often referred to as an easy 14er, mostly because of its relatively short distance to the summit from the trailhead. But don't you believe it? Especially in winter, this is anything but easy. But the reward of accomplishment is coming closer. The summit is in view, victory is within reach. Thoughts, feelings, emotions, even your sense of self is deeply affected when standing on a 14er summit after having to physically endure all that you've endured over the past hours and miles. It's a full and complete experience. You just want to soak it all in as much and as deeply as you can. But just being at the summit of a 14er, you can't help but see God, to see God in it all. A deep sense of humility, smallness, but also thankfulness and gratitude and praise to the great God who made it all and that he made it all for us to enjoy and to point us back to him. Psalm 66 verse 5 says, Come and see the works of God. He is awesome in his doing toward the sons of men. Looks like we got some snow blowing in, so I'm going to start heading down. Could make it pretty interesting going down. Could be fun. So, leaving Summit. got down here in about 30 minutes. I can tell you, it's a lot faster going down than going up. It's been kind of snowing a tiny bit. Not too bad though. Still got pretty good visibility. You can see those mountains there just fine. Onward and downward. bungee cord my snowshoes to my backpack it's gone very well and uh, turns out that's where the snowshoes stayed the entire day I did not need my snowshoes today and I think the reason for that is it was sunny for a while and then the clouds rolled in and I think that kept things cold enough to where Post holing really didn't happen that bad. I didn't post hole at all, as a matter of fact. I just made sure I stayed on the hard packed trail. It's a very popular trail. A lot of skiers, a lot of hikers, and uh, there was no problem, really. Um, but wow, what a day. Four hours to get to Summit, two hours to get back. And uh, hey, Climbing in the winter, it's a whole different beast. Especially quandary. There aren't any, aren't any of those nice little switchbacks. You get straight up. And it's tough, man. Anyway, I made it. Super pumped that I got my first winter 14er. I thank the many, many tens upon tens of people who watch this channel. Have a great one. Thanks for watching.